Welcome everybody to Let's Talk About It. A podcast is a platform for real talk, real people, real topics, real conversations. <laughs> today, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we're going to have some fun today. <clears throat> Sorry. Fun facts. You know, I, I love, you know, statistics and stuff like that. So, dug up something today to share with you guys, okay? And this was surveyed over 300,000 people in the United States, okay? Now, we're going to go over two, the men and the women. Now, the men's side, we're going we go, we go to talk about the top eight reasons men date younger women. Okay? These are men over 50. The top eight reasons men date, young, uh, date younger women. Okay? Then we'll get to the ladies. You know, we're going to come up with the top eight reasons to date older women this came from the younger men okay and unfortunately it's not it wasn't my bag right here but we also have the six cons of dating older women you know couldn't find nothing about dating uh men i mean for the men's side so ladies excuse me don't don't you know shoot the messenger again okay this was surveyed by for the men's side all right and there was the top eight reasons men date younger women. These are men over 50. They, they, uh, they got with them. Uh, and also from the women's side, okay, now we have top eight reasons to date older women. Okay, this is from the younger guys, younger guys section. These are women over 50. You know, it blanks from 50 to 64. Let's get into it. All right, let's go. These are the top eight reasons men date younger women. These are men over 50. Now, they ain't range, uh, you know, 50 to 100 or whatever is like over 50. Okay. Number one reason, dating younger women increases your chance of finding love. Mm. Now, I'm, I'm 52. I'll be 53 soon. I don't know if I agree with all that, but it says here they surveyed these people. Dating younger women increases your chance of finding love. Uh, you can probably you, men, you can find love with women in their fifties and sixties as well. Okay, I've been there, I've done that. I have no problem with it. But that was that was that was that was number one. Number two, younger women are less likely to be religious. Now. They also added a little fun fact with this. Millennials are less likely to be religious than Gen X and baby boomers. You know, Gen X, like 46. Oh, I'm sorry, like 40 to like 59. Baby boomers from 60 to 70, around that age. Uh, They felt like, you know, they they talked to a lot of older men. They don't want to get into all this religious stuff. They feel that uh, older women... Are very religious, especially in their fifties, and the older men do not want to deal with that. That's what they they came up with. Um, I believe in a higher power. Um, not I, I don't go to church, but I still believe in higher power, and I don't mind you know someone being religious. But that's what they came up with. Number three, younger women are likely to lead an active lifestyle. Side note, younger women are more likely to exercise several times a week and eat healthier foods. Now, I got to disagree with that because I know a lot of older women that exercise like demons. And I know a lot of young women who really don't exercise. I think nowadays women over 50 are exercising more for you know, longevity, eating more healthier foods. I'm not really with that, but that's what they got, you know, with the men, you know, they say they want, they feel that, you know, they could date younger women, they'll, they have a more active lifestyle to make them younger, I guess. That's, that's, I guess what they're trying to say. Number four, a lot of older women don't want to get married again. So I guess they feel an older man wants to get married again in their fifties. Older women don't want to get married because they also said, fun fact, many women have said uh, their past lives 
that they're that they're done. They've already they've already had they've already done their past. You know, women in their 50s have already done their past already. They've raised their kids. Uh, you know, they focus on their careers. They want to have fun with their friends. Uh, they want to live their life. So there's a little, like, you know, a little divide there. You know, what they're saying, I guess, in this thing, they got a little side note here I put down too, that men want to get remarried again at 50, and women over 50 do not want to get married again. They've done that. Maybe their marriage didn't work, and they're ready to move on. They're ready to have fun, you know, go out with their girlfriends, you know, do whatever. You know what I mean? They want to have some fun. Uh, maybe they didn't have fun when they, when they was married. I don't know. But, you know, I've noticed a lot of older women now are living their life, you know, focus more on their careers and their kids and their friends. A lot of older men now, they, they want to settle again. They want to, I guess they're saying by the stats, they want to have a real relationship or they want to, they can't stand to be alone. That That's the thing. So, you know, that was something, that was a fun fact there. Number five, the youthfulness, youthfulness of younger women can rub off on them. Uh, younger women have more youthful, youthful energy and optimism. Mm. I got to disagree with that as well. I think older women in their 50s, you know, I've seen a lot of them. I know a lot of them. They're probably more youthful, have more energy than younger. But that's just my opinion. But older men over 50 do not want to deal with women their own age because they feel, you know, they're not going to bring them up. You know, they, they can't have fun like they can. I think it's reverse. But that's what these men say. Okay. All right. Let's get number six. Younger women can bring different perspectives to life. That's what they're saying. Again, younger women can bring different perspectives to life. Side note, younger women get more positive perspectives than older women. Hmm. I guess they're trying to say that older women bitch more or whatever or like, you know, they're not positive by anything. So they feel they date younger because younger is more positive than older. That was what they dealt with. These are 300,000 men that they surveyed, 300,000 women. But I guess uh, there's, a divide, there's a, some type of divideness between men and women over 50. Number seven, younger women are attractive or, or sorry, younger women are attracted to their stability. Younger women are attracted to their stability, maturity. Financial stability is very attractive to younger women. Now, if I know some women, they would say they just did it for the money. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that one right there. Kind of confused about that one. Uh, but that's what older women or older men are saying. That's really why they date younger women. You know, it was a fun fact on that. I guess so. I mean, I'm not really with that one, but that's what a lot of men are saying in America. Number eight, the last one, dating younger women expands their social circle. After 50, circles shrink. Dating younger expands their social circle. I do agree that your social circle does shrink when you get older because everybody get older. They grow apart. Um... You know, but they feel if they date younger, they'll, you know, they have more friends, you know, like this, like, like I said earlier with the energy and stuff like that. That's what they feel. Um, hmm. But I do agree that your social circle does get smaller. Uh, the truth comes out about people, I guess. That's what you're trying to say. So that was the men's side. <laughs> you know, tell me what you think. You know, ladies, tell me what you think. Men, tell me what you think. Younger, older whatever tell me what you think you know leave a comment you know like and subscribe this as well try and get as many likes as i can build have little fun facts like this in the future let's get down to the ladies you know i know ladies wants to hear about this some do some don't i'm kind of curious about this myself top eight reasons to date older women this came from younger men number one Older women usually know what they want. Side note, older women have already been through it and know what they want now. 
I would say that's true. <laughs> I know a lot of older women. Uh, they've been up and down. They know what they want. You know, they've been divorced. They went. They had their troubles or whatever. You know, um, they know what they want now. Uh, so I think that's what you know. I guess what younger men they want more. A woman who knows what they want, who's settled, this and that. I guess they did in their own age. I guess girls their own age don't know what they want. <laughs> so I guess that's what it is. Number two, older women have less drama. Debatable. Older one side note, older women want peace and no BS. Yeah. I I I I'll I'll I'll, I'll correct that. I think a lot of older women don't want drama. You know, they want a lot of peace. They probably went through drama in their past life or whatever. I don't know. But they do want peace and they want they want no drama. I do agree with that. <coughs> uh, number three, older women has more life experience. 100%. I agree with that one. Side note, women experience more life up and downs and have a stronger grasp on how to handle it. I do agree with that 100 percent. I think uh, I think younger men are starting to see that with older women. And again, you older women know um, not older women, but women who are over 50. You guys, I hear it all the time. You got young guys coming after y'all like crazy, you know, just coming at you. Stability, all type of stuff, sexiness. You know, you carry yourselves better. I call it sexy classy myself. All right. Number four. Older women are generally more financially stable. Facts. Uh, women are able to pull their own weight, and also, and also, some women take on the role of a sugar mama. That is true. I know a couple of sugar mamas out there. Uh, they don't mind. You know, they're more financially stable. Uh, they're not trying to get into a long-term relationship and with nobody. Uh, you know, I know some women say, no, nah, he can get his own money. But there are women out there who will have a little boy toy and like, okay, like, listen, come over, take care, take care of me. I take care of you. You keep me moving. You know, you do you, but I'm doing me. You know, I'm going to work. I'm going out with my girlfriends. I'm going this and that. Take care of my grandkids. You can come over. I, 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 no, nah, I bless you. I'll take care of your little, little cash in your pocket. You know, there are there are a lot there's there's sugar babies for young guys out there. You know, everybody thinks sugar babies for young men, young women for older men. I know a couple of women who had some sugar babies. <laughs> Seriously, facts. Uh number five. Older women are strong conversationalists. Hundred percent facts. Hundred percent. Uh I guess younger men, uh, they can't have a full conversation with a y girl of their own age. Side note, women do not play games. They do not beat around the bush. Uh, they know what is to be said. You know, they're directly to the point. God, I know that. I know it's a couple of people. I'm not going to say their names, but, but uh, they are. They do beat. They don't beat around the point. They don't beat around the bush, you know, especially uh, one in Colorado. Uh, you know, straight facts too. I'm not gonna put her out there, but she knows who she is. Number six, older women are more independent. Side note, they don't need for nothing. God. First and foremost, I think it's very, very true. It's also pushed on social media a lot. Women in their fifties do preach that a lot and they do live that. I see it every day. I know a lot of people who do that. They do not want for nothing. They can take care of their own. Uh, you know, going to days where women are sitting home, not doing nothing, you know, whatever. You know, young guys are probably feeling now that, you know, they got to work and take care of girls their own age. They date young, older women because they don't really, they don't need your money. You know, they got their own money, you know. You know, fun side note, you know, you know, st statistically, women make more money than men today. So that's why young guys are jumping all on. Okay. All right. Uh, number seven. Older women are more appreciative. Yeah. Side note. Once women have has experienced ups and downs of life, they learn how to appreciate simple things. Hundred percent true. 
I guess younger men are not being appreciated uh, by people their own age, and they are going to older women who who appreciate them. Uh, for a man myself, I've always dated older women all my life. You no know, couple young ones here and there, but majority have been older because I've noticed the same thing. You know, they do appreciate you know more more appreciate the simple things. Um, you know, they do appreciate more. I, I'll give them that. Number eight, number the final one, physical appearance all is often higher, often higher, and that is true. Older women are killing it, killing it now. I mean, look like they're in their twenties and thirties. I mean, you know. Side note: When dating an older woman, when dating an older woman, they are more likely in tune with their body and more knowledgeable about intimacy. Hundred fucking percent. Well, I'll I say eighty five because some of them still need, need to learn some shit. But I do feel that they are more knowledgeable about their body, more knowledgeable about their appearance, and you know, older women are killing it right now. Seriously, like even even women in their forties, man, good lord, like they're killing it. You know what I mean? They just looking like like I call them sexy classy. I just call I do call them sexy classy. You know, there are some women in their sixties. Oh my god, they just murdering murdering it right now. Uh, you know, you know, they just killing it. You know, sexy classy. Final part, ladies and gentlemen, is the six cons of dating older women. This came from younger men. This fun fact, this was over, they actually, you know, they did over 300,000 people, but this was 375,000 they, they did. Um, agree or disagree, let me know what you think. These are the six cons of dating older women by younger men. Uh, people are going to judge you. I, I can see where they're coming from. You know, they'll think like, you know, like, you know, you're trying to get her money. She's older than you. She may, she looks older than you. Is she like your mother? I mean, you know, do you have a fetish or whatever it is? Um, that's what a big, one of my complaints about it is. People will judge them. They're friends of their own age. Like, why are you dating someone who's 50 or 60? You got someone your own age in the twenties and thirties, and they go through that because they worry about their their peers, their 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 opinions of their friends. You know, um, me as an older guy, I don't give a shit <laughs> what anybody says. Uh, number two, uh, you're at different life stages. True, older women are diff are at different life stages. They have already seen it all. They have already grown. They have they they have moved on. The younger guys, or even younger women, are trying to get to that step. You know, they got many, many moons, and that's gonna be a little, you no know, differences right there. Number three, uh, see, so yeah, it won't work if you're not emotionally mature. That's true. You know, I do know some older women; they do want that emotionally you know, mature guy, and. Uh, and a lot of guys, I know a couple of young guys, they older women, you know, they're not mostly mature like the older women are. So that's a negative to them, you know, but it is what it is. Number four, uh, older women may have some baggage. Maybe. I think we all have baggage. Uh, I think younger guys don't want to deal with the baggage. I guess jealous ex-husband, their kids, uh, they might be in debt. I don't know. Some bullshit reason. A lot of them said they don't want, you know, the baggage of an older woman. Uh, number five, there may be issues if you want kids. If a younger guy, most likely, I actually know like two people, you know, one, you know, definitely for sure, you know, she fell for a young, a younger guy. He wanted kids. She already had three kids. She done. Usually, like you know. The, the younger guy, they still want to have a kid. They want to have one more round in. Older women, especially, God, 50s, they ain't even trying to, they ain't even thinking about having no kid. You know, they, they may practice, but they ain't thinking about having no damn kid. Um, I do know women in their 40s, like young 40s. You know, I know a couple of people in their young 40s. Um, they'll get with a younger guy. They're having fun, this and that. But then, you know, they, 
you know, they've already had their two or three kids. Even women like 35, in their 30s. Like once they had those two, three kids, they done. They don't want no more. You know, so that's a tricky slope right there where you date someone younger and date someone older. You know, especially if you're older, dating a younger guy. You got to put that in his head. Like if you're in that, that mid-range, you can still have a kid, like late 30s, early 40s. You better put it in his head like, yo, that shop is closed. Unless you want one at that age, you know, which I know two people who, who've had them at that age. Last one. She may be looking for more than you can offer. That is true. Uh, maybe she's looking for more stability. Uh, Long term, whatever. You know what I mean? She's already been there. And she wants to have that next phase. You know, younger guys are still growing, getting to that phase. So they, they might not want to go about that, you know. But like I said, you know, tell me what you think. You know, I thought those fun facts was kind of cool. Uh, I know people on both sides. Uh, as for me, myself, um, I've always, you know, dated older uh, a couple of younger, um, you know, the spot I'm at now, maturity wise, we have to be on the same page, you know, if she was younger than me, you know, can't be, you know, I, I'm at a different level now. And there's a lot of people on different levels, but also there's younger people who are like what you call old souls. They are already ready to go. They ready to do these things. You know, they're ready to have serious commitments. Uh, but yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the pros and cons of it. Sorry I didn't find less cons of the men. But please, ladies and gentlemen, like and subscribe. I mean, like this podcast. I'm trying, I'm trying to build it up. Do little fun facts and stuff like that. You know, interracial marriages, politics. I'm not getting too much in religion. But, you know, all type of stuff I got coming up. Please support, like, subscribe. Please share. We'll say you, I will see you next time on Let's Talk About It. Peace.